In this lesson, we are going to design website. What we're gonna do is to create a template like this, but there is no products in the screen and there is no search bar. Only a header with JS Amazonal and there should be some links here like sign in and card and a content for entering data. And at the end, we are going to create a footer to say all right reserve. 2020. Let's implement this. First of all, we need to create style.css and then link that to the index.html. Click on Explorer icon. In this RC folder, right click new file. Set file name to style.css. And then what I'm going to do is to go to index.html and write before title, press enter and link this style.css to this web page. rel is style sheet and href is gonna be style.css and close that. By having this link, we just linked web page to style.css. For the third step, we need to create some elements inside index.html. Get rid of these two elements inside body and create dev and set class to grid container. Inside grid container, there should be three elements. The first one is header. Second one is main. And the third one is footer. For header, create a dev. And this dev is gonna be for showing brand name. Inside anchor, set href to slash dash slash and set the caption to js zona and create another dev the second dev is gonna be placed on the right corner of the top contain two anchor the first one is gonna be sign in dash slash sharp slash sign in And the second one is gonna be cart slash sharp slash cart. It's for showing shopping cart. In the main section, I'm going to enter products list and we will go for it in next lesson. In the footer section, all rights reserve at sign 2020. Let's check the result. As we saw together, we need to go to this address and we are going to format this ugly style HTML web page to this one. Let's go for it. We need to update style.css. First of all, let's set box sizing to border box for all elements. Star here means that all elements. Box sizing to border box. It make it easy for us to better handle padding, margin, and bordering for elements. Second one is gonna be setting font size. I'm going to use font size 62.5% because the default size for browser is 16 pixel. And if we multiply that by 62.5, it's gonna be 10 pixel. And each 10 pixel is one unit or one rem. It's the responsive measurement for CSS. And instead of using pixel, in this course, we are going to use rem and one rem equal to 10 pixel. Let's set style for body. First of all, for body, we need to set height to full height, 100 viewport height, VH, and set font 
to 1.56 rem and as you see if we compare that with this table it means it's gonna be 16 pixel the default size and set font name to helvetica if helvetica doesn't exist use Arial. the last one is removing margin because by default body contains a margin and we are going to get rid of margin that's the setting for body let's check the result you know as you see there is no margin and font doesn't have any serif at all and uh, it's full height let's go for grid container grid container start with a dot because it's a class name and inside that I'm going to use new display method of CSS which is grid set display property to grid and when it comes to grid we need to define some templates area grid templates area it has three sections header and press enter main and press enter and footer so what i want to have is to have three rows header main and footer it's time to define columns and rows so grid template columns there is only one columns one fragment and rows it's gonna be three rows the first row occupy five rem 50 pixel second one is for main and it occupy the remaining part and the last section at the very bottom occupy five rem for footer and the last setting for grid container is setting height to a hundred percent let's check the result as you see here we have a header a content that occupy the whole height of a screen and a footer like this it's time to add some style to them make a background for header and footer and make the footer center aligned let's go for them for header set grid area to header background color to dark i'm going to use this code 20 30 40. set color to white use this format also it's time to use flex here why do we need to use flex because i'm going to keep js amazon and signing and cart in the same row that's why i need to use display flex let's go for it display equal to flex and set justify content to space between because i'm going to put the brand link in the left side and sign in and cart link on the right side that's why I use justify content space between and set a line item to center because in the 50 pixel height I'm going to put them in the center vertically and also create a small padding which is equal to 0.5 let's check the result here as you see I have JSM Arizona and signing and cart right here it's time to add a style to the link color let's go for them in the index.html set the first dev class to brand and in the style.css first of all for header anchor set color to white and for dot brand anchor set font size to 3 rem also for all header links set font weight to bold 
and set text decoration to none. If user move mouse over a link, we are going to change the color from white to orange. Let's do that. Header anchor when hover happens, set color to orange F08040. Let's check the result. You see, it's gonna be like this. Very similar to this one. Let's go for footer. Dot footer. Set background color to 20, 30, 40. Display to flex. Justify content center and align items center to and set color to white. Let's check the result. Aha, uh -huh. it's gonna be like this. So what we did in this session is to create the basic style of JSMS on our website. We just created a header with two sections, brand name and user links for signing and showing shopping cart and an area for listing products like this, which is the topic of next lesson and an area for showing footer like this. Very good. Until next lesson. Bye-bye.